Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Proof of Declarations team. I am Sanjay. We are learning Node.js with MySQL APIs. This is our part number 20. Inside this video session guys, we are going to discuss about API method for update data. In our last video, we had seen about insertion, selection as well as deletion API method. So inside this, we are going to update data. So before going to code editor, let's see about what is the basic syntax to update any data in MySQL. So basically, we need to write call update. Here we have to provide the table name. So let's say table name. Next we have to write call set and the column name and the respective values. So let's say column 1 equal to value 1, column 2 equal to value 2 and so on and finally we need to put our where condition so let's say where column let's say 100 equal to let's say value 100 so on the basis of this where condition on the basis of this condition actually we are going to update all these column values so basically this is the syntax actually we need to follow while writing our update command so back to editor now this is the code actually where we are working so scroll down so let's say that we are going to let's say update data so this app dot update method so to update data actually update is not method we need to put called put method here here we need to provide our URL so let's say user next we have to provide our callback function and inside this callback function let's pass about request and response object now inside this block let's say connection dot query and inside the first argument we have to pass our query so let's say that update table name we have called tbl underscore users here we need to provide our column names so let's say set name equal to if I back to our Chrome browser now this is our database and this is our tbl underscore users table so inside this table as we can see that we have columns called name email and the phone number so we are going to update these three columns on the basis of this ID which is a primary key so back to editor so let's say name equal to this is our placeholder email equal to a placeholder phone number so phone number equal to placeholder and here we are going to put where condition so where id equal to and this is another placeholder so we need to pass four different values so in the next inside this array we need to pass our values now here we need to pass a callback function now inside that callback function actually we need to pass our parameters something as error next we have to pass our results and in the next we need to pass call fields so finally if I back to this block let's say that if suppose we have some error so I am going to throw inside our console so let's say throw error otherwise let's say response dot json and inside this let's say status equal to fun and message equal to let's say user has been updated successfully all we have done now only we need to pass all these placeholder values inside our defined array so as we know that in our previous lectures when we had discussed about post condition means post request type so in that video we had seen that how basically we have installed and used body parser so back to our update method so let's say that where params equal to something request dot body and simply let's say where name equal to 
it will be called params dot name let's say where email equal to let's say params dot email let's say where phone number equal to let's say params dot phone number and finally let's say where user underscore id equal to params dot user underscore id so finally we have received all the values from this body section now finally we need to pass this name email phone number and the user id respectively inside this array according to our placeholder we need to pass our value so the first placeholder tells about the name so we need to pass name in the second we need to pass our email address in the third we need to pass our phone number so let's say phone number and finally inside this where condition we want all about user id so user underscore id all we have done now we have received the body parameters finally put inside this query and we are ready to execute that so back to postman and first thing first actually we need to start our server so nodemon and this should be something index.js so waiting and restarted our server sorry started our server so back to postman and if I open a new tab let's say that localhost and it should be 5000 port hitting enter and we are landed on the application page so change this get to put request type and here let's say user and all we have to pass our updated information inside body so first we need to set content type because as we know that so it should be content hyphen type and we need to pass in this value section called application forward slash this is all about json back to body raw and inside this section actually we need to pass our values and the first value is called name so let's say that we are going to update this third number row so instead of this name what basically we want we want something let's say this is the name and inside this email address let's say that at gmail.com and inside this phone number we are going to pass our dummy value and this is our value and finally we need to pass our user id so on the behalf of this id actually we are going to replace with these updated values so the id we want to update is something third number id so go here and passing three value inside this user id so if I click on this send button and user has been updated successfully so back to browser and if I open a new tab so as we can see that the third number row ID if I again check the old value this is something here and this is something here now we can actually observe that the updated value has been reflected with this third number ID and as I think that phone number is not updating so it's because actually instead of simple phone we have the key called phone number so let's say that in the next we want to update this first number value so user id equal to 1 and we are going to update let's say online web tutor email address is something let's say online web tutor hub at gmail.com mobile number something dummy value and user id equals to one so if i click on send button user has been updated successfully back to browser reload this table and inside this table now we can find that we have now successfully updated all the informations of this first number id so inside this video session guys actually we had seen that 
how can we use and update our data using update API method. So if you have any doubt inside this video then please drop your comment. I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day.